What's up guys, it's SRC bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay and this time it's a team deathmatch on the map Piazza and again, as if you watched yesterday's video, you know that uh, with the Elite playlist update they've changed it now to where you can't just play Domination anymore you have to play this kind of mosh pit game that has team deathmatch along with kill confirmed and Domination uh, which like I said, I'm not really a big fan of so here we got a game of team deathmatch uh, which really isn't one of my favorite game types. It seems like it is really popular, uh, but I just don't really like it, mainly because the spawn systems are so erratic. It seems like, to me, people just kind of play a lot different, I guess. Uh, they don't really... There's no objective, so all they're supposed to do is stay alive. So you, a lot of times you'll get people camping, you'll get people hiding in stupid places, you get people standing up on top of stuff like that guy, and it just, to me, doesn't play that well. And what I find is when I play Team Deathmatch, the only way that I have fun with it is just to rush. And so that's kind of my play style. You'll see me constantly in this game just rushing around the map looking for people. Um, I really don't like sitting back and just waiting for things to come to me. Although sometimes that may lead to less deaths. I think it just takes out some of the fun factor. And then sometimes you can find situations like that where you just get behind people and they have no idea where you are and you just put yourself into a better position uh, than the enemy is and you just get a lot of kills like this where you shoot them in the back and they don't even see you coming. And so with Team Deathmatch, really the biggest thing I can say is that you really just need to be aware of where other people are. Uh, unlike this situation where I just run right into a guy bump right into him and neither of us noticed that the, uh, the enemy was next to us. So lucky for me, my teammate shot him uh, because uh, who knows who would have won that gunfight if there was one. Uh, so you'll see here though, uh, through this game, I'm just kind of rushing around and trying to, f to get into a good position, trying to find the enemies and sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. Like there, I hit multiple enemies head on, uh, which is never a good position to be in. So. Uh, with this, I'm constantly running around looking for people, using the portable radar to my advantage. And in this game, I'm using Assassin as a perk, which I think is a must to have. And I really hate to say that. I wish that wasn't the case, but that's that is just true. It's really the best perk to have. You know, Hardline would be nice for sure, but without it, you really just have to run Assassin because there's constantly UAVs online. And you can see here. This is pretty much all you hear when you play a team deathmatch game. UAV recon ready for deployment. UAV 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 online. UAV 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 online. UAV 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 online. That's really all it is in this game. It's just constant UAV spam, constant uh, people camping in corners. So the only way you can really combat that is to use your portable radar and for yourself to use assassin because. Uh, it's the, just the easiest way to stay alive. I find that I have better games when I use Assassin, and so it just makes sense to do the things that you find are going to give you better gameplays overall, and uh, to keep the enjoyment factor, because it's certainly never fun when you're coming up behind people and then they notice you on the UAV, so they whip out their FMGs and turn around and just wait for you. So uh, that's kind of the experience that I have. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you run Assassin and what you think about it, and then also, do you run UAV? Um, or are you one of the people that don't? Because to me, like I said, it seems like a lot of people are running UAV in this game. And when I run Assault, I don't ever run UAV usually. Um, I like to use a little bit higher kill streaks than that. Uh, but it is certainly something that I start off with and will kind of stick with sometimes. And then when I run Support, I always use the Advanced UAV. Um, just because there's not a ton of good support kill streaks in my opinion. I think that Advanced UAV is one of the best, and so I use that all the time. And you can see here now I know exactly where the enemy is, I know exactly where to go. And even if there's people running Assassin in that mix, they're probably near that mix of people. And you can just see um, exactly where they are, and it just makes it so much easier to get kills. So, you know, I guess if you can't beat them, join them, that's what I, I say, I guess. Uh, but let me know in the comments below if you guys use Assassin and uh, if you're using UAVs. Uh, because I'd imagine that almost everyone's using one of the two. And if you can have both, then I think you're in a better position than other people. So that's kind of my strategy and how I look at Team Deathmatch. Like I said, I don't really like to play it partly for that reason and partly just because I don't really like the, the way the spawns are and the way that other people play the game. Uh, because you can see here there's just uh, constant spawn flipping. You, you know, you're either 
you spend a lot of time during the game rushing around looking for people, and sometimes that causes you just to get caught in a, a dead sprint, uh, which leads to some deaths. So um, I don't know. I, like I said, would rather play a domination or even a kill confirmed. I think the dog tags add a pretty fun element to the game. And so that's something that I like. But uh, this game's wrapping up pretty quick. Actually, a really close game. Uh, you can see the score is pretty close throughout here. And another reason that I don't really care for Team Deathmatch is just because when you've got these big streaks, it's hard to, to get multiples in a game. Where here you can see I'm just calling in my EMP right at the end here. So we win this game 7,500 to 7,000. 19 and 6 is the final score. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the game.